the Christian Children's Fund is a pioneering leader in early childhood education. And with some social partners, the Bernard Van Leer Foundation and the Caribbean Support Initiative is creating a safety net for at-risk families in the parish of St. David through the Roving Care Givers Program. The program recognizes that the early years of a child are critical in the formation of intelligence, personality, and social behavior. The program uses a process of stimulation geared at enticing the infant to engage in play activities aimed at maximizing and enhancing growth. If you notice like you give a child a toy, and they'll just throw it down. Every time they want you to pick it up, you give, them, you give it back to them, they throw it right back down again. It's a form of play for them. As the child develops, there are several stages of development which are key to the overall well-being of the child. We have physical and motor development, where we are looking at building large muscles for active movement of body, and as well, gaining control over the small muscles. For example, the child has to kick and throw a ball, but he also has to learn how to hold a, a pencil to write and the pick things off the floor. That is fine muscle um, involvement. There is sensory development. Here we are speaking about um, the senses of vision or seeing, hearing, smell, taste, touch, with this child responding appropriately as from birth onwards. We have exercises that take the child through these from birth. There is cognitive development. This begins at birth as, for example, the baby successfully responds to the thrust of the mother's nipple on that breast and the child realizes that it's time to suckle the breast. Gets to it. There is also the language development that we are stimulating children for. And we know that language development starts with the first cry of the baby. And uh, sure, the, the babies usually become smart. They learn the, how to use their eyes and ears to communicate with parents. And uh, as they become toddlers, these uh, cooing songs and whatnot merge into one and two word sentences. And we also have social and emotional development. They learn to get along with adults and their siblings, and this brings about the adjustment to their family. Changes in the growth and development of the child are also influenced by heredity and, importantly, by the child's environment. Now, while babies are usually soft and cuddly, as they begin to grow, they begin to create their own impressions of and learn their environment quicker than one can imagine. Hence the saying, children learn what they live and live what they learn. Children, therefore, can receive permanent scars at that age from social and emotional wounds such as sexual, physical, emotional abuse, as well as medical and other neglect. Such wounds, if not taken care of immediately, can mark that child for life. A well-rounded infant, happy, well-nourished, emotionally balanced, and getting the right educational start with proper social behavior is what the RCP wants to give the child in the program. And the tool being used successfully is play the child's world. For the toddlers, they are a, a bigger group and they are more curious. These children are walking and uh, climbing and jumping, skipping. They are curious about everything. They will touch and, and explore anything that is available. And uh, we have special materials for them. They are stacking rings, play dolls, push and pull toys, a little truck. A box can be converted into a truck with just a string. They also have interlock, interlocking toys, plastic and wooden puzzles, plastic objects that float in the water. We teach them various concepts of things like sink and float and light and heavy. That's a big rock.
That's a stone. Put it in the water. Just put it down gently. Very good, Kelvin. And you see what happened? The rock went down. It is all the way on the bottom of the water. So we have the rock. It is heavy, so it sinks. Very good. You see, it is heavy. Oops. Kelvin puts it in the water. It falls very hard because it is very heavy, Kelvin. And this is very light. Very light. Very light. It's like a feather, so it floats on the water. There's also the time for scribbling. Making scribbling. Where things. the child yeah, you can do scribbling is able too. to hold mm -hmm. a very large crayon. Yes. We are not very speaking good. about a lead pencil. Uh, a large size nice. crayon. Well, he can well, grasp well, that and do you his own scribbles. Oh, Whatever that child identifies yeah. it to be, yes, that is what it is. Like that is before the child is expected to do any writings of such as we uh. know writing to be. But the scribbles, those are very important because this turns out to be writing of that child in later years. They also um, entice to do sorting and matching games. And through those sorting and matching games, they learn color, they learn size, they learn shapes and things like that. Also, we have books that they can look at, books with very large pictures. And we can make up our own story and tell them all what is happening here in that book. And sometimes the children themselves create a story out of the pictures that they see in the book. We can take lovely Christmas cards or any decorative card. And that becomes a learning experience for that child. Also, the toddler goes on a lot of nature walks with the rover or the pig. And you listen to me, remember our song? Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a goat. You see, so that's the goat, and the goat has one, two, three, four legs, and you have one, two. You see, it has a nose like Janelle, one nose, and it has a mouth as well. Yeah? And the goat eat grass, see, the grass around it, that's what the goat eat, the grass. Now, your mommy have to prepare food for you, right? The only grass your mommy can give you to it is vegetables like lettuce, cabbage, spinach. These are nutritious for Jingle. But the grass out there now is just for little goatee. Okay, Jingle? So we have goatee on Old MacDonald Farm, right there. Go into the backyard garden. Learn to pick the, cu the cucumbers or the tomatoes, see what is happening there, have a good idea. And that is indeed okay. a very educational activity for ripe that topic. <gasps> Jesse, look, a ripe tomato. Let's pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Take it. Take this one. Right. Ripe tomato. Yes, and when it's ripe, yes, we can eat it. We can eat the ripe tomato. Let's go and get some cabbages now. Right Let's now, continue to look at some stimulation exercises of our toddlers. Can you touch it for me? Touch it for me? Right, a cow. And you know, we have a nice song with our cow and it goes, Old MacDonald had a farm, ea, ea, yo. And on that farm he had some cow. Ia ia yo with a moo moo here, a moo moo here, every moo moo, every moo. What does the cow say? Moo. Say that for me. Say that. Moo. Tell me what is that, Timara? A dog. Touch the eyes for me. Very good. Touch the ears for me, the dog ears. Ears, very good. And we have our ears too. Can you touch your ears for me? Very good, very good. Let mommy touch your ears too. Touch your ears. Very good. Right, and we have our dog, the dog barks. Woof, woof. We're gonna do catching. Are you ready, Cassie? Okay, let's go. Catch the ball. Very good. Send it to mommy. Nice. Let me see you, Cassie. Let's go. Catch the ball.
Children are God's gifts to parents, and as with all gifts, they are to be cherished and loved. The Bible says, teach children the proper way they are to go, and they will never depart from it. The parent's responsibility, therefore, is to teach their children using proper attitudes and practices in the socialization of their children, and that is the main objective of the Rovin Caregivers Program of the Christian Children's Fund in collaboration with the Caribbean Support Initiative and the Bernard Van Leer Foundation. When the dog says Kelvin, the dog goes woof, woof, woof. The dogs on the farm goes woof, 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 woof. The Rovin Caregivers Program is a child stimulation program carried out at the home of the child with assistance from the parents. That approach is also a teaching tool for the development of proper parenting attitudes, where abusive language and corporal punishment are substituted by more acceptable attitudes in the rearing of children. We learn how to deal with the children. We have not to be too harsh with the children, so I think it's a good program. The involvement of parents in the program is very essential since the stimulation of the child must continue following the departure of the rover. It is then that parents put into practice what they have learned. When her father come home, I will tell her father, look, his dad, he do with her, then he will take her, put, him, put her to sit down and tell, okay, tell daddy what your teacher teach you. So anyway, she would sit down and tell her daddy, okay, she would sing to her daddy, and put up her hands and tell her daddy up, down, and things so. So as the father says, it's a very good program, and he just want he just make sure they continue the way that the going on. But it's very good. Yes, yeah, very good. The parents participating in the Robin Caregivers Program have really bought into the program, as we hear in this testimony. From this book that his mom made is all about textures. She did not only make a plain book, she used paper, yes she did, but she used something very colorful that will attract him at all times, making him be so interested in wanting to go into that book so he can be constantly reminded, not even, you know, always when the rover is there. We have on the first page of the book, if you help me there, you have some cotton and she wrote alongside it soft. And of course, cotton is soft. On the next page, she put some sticks and she did all that by putting glue, using glue and using it to stick on the pages. Yes, the sticks are hard, right? The sticks are hard. On the next page, she has sand. And of course, the sand is very rough. And that is the part that got um, Kelvin's interest most of all. He loves, you know, that rough.